Hi there, everyone. Welcome back. My name is Dax Suter. You've joined me here again today for another English phrase. Today's phrase is lay one's cards on the table. Lay one's cards on the table. I think in Chinese you say tan pai. To lay one's cards on the table means to let someone know your position and your interest openly. To deal with honesty uh, without trickery or secrets. So basically, if you lay one's cards, if you lay your cards on the table, um, you speak rather directly. You don't beat around the bush or you don't speak indirectly. You say exactly what you're thinking, how you're feeling, and you let your um, your desires be known and your interests be known. Okay, so you speak directly, basically. Here are a few example sentences. In talking about buying the property, Peterson laid his cards on the table about his plans for it. So when he was talking about buying the property, the house, the land, whatever it might have been, Peterson laid his cards on the table about his plans for it. So he said very directly what he would like to do with this property. One more example sentence here. In some business negotiations, it is better not to lay all your cards on the table in the beginning because it might put you at a disadvantage. Oh, that's a long sentence. Let me read again. In some business negotiations, it is better not to lay all your cards on the table in the beginning because it might put you at a disadvantage. So when you're doing business with people, sometimes it's better not to put all your cards on the table the first time in the beginning um, because that might give you some sort of a disadvantage in your negotiations, in your business negotiations. Okay, so that phrase is lay one's cards on the table. Um, and again, it means to speak very directly and openly. Okay, I hope you've learned something from today's phrase a day and join me again next time and we'll have another English phrase. Thank you and bye-bye.